What are the nine fastest fighters in the world capable of? Is speed an advantage? Immediately after World War II, the engineering advances of aircraft designers from the world's leading countries started developing in two directions. The first area was increasing speed. The second was the development of stealth technologies. There is an opinion that the Soviet aircraft designers were more successful in the high-speed performance of fighters. American aircraft manufacturers became the best in stealth technology. Is it so? We will find out everything shortly. And at the same time, we will find out whether the speed is the main indicator for a fighter. Let us clarify that we're going to talk about the nine fastest serial fighters in the world, which are on alert in their countries and have shown themselves in real combat operations. Nine. So, the F-16 Fighting Falcon from General Dynamics is opening our rating. Its top speed is 2,120 kilometers per hour, which is why Falcon is the ninth on our list. This sturdy old is operating since 1978 and is still exported. The first case of the combat use of the F-16 occurred in 1981 in Lebanon. Since then, there were a successful raid on an Iraqi nuclear center, second intifada, the defeat of the Palestine Liberation Organization headquarters, Operation Cast Lead, Operation Pillar of Cloud, Operation Unbreakable Rock, if Israel has best friends, the F-16 Fighting Falcon is number one on their list. The F-16 has participated in all military conflicts over the past 40 years. In battles with the Soviet and Russian aircraft, the F-16 had 65 victories and not a single defeat. Outstanding results. 8. Saab Yas-39 Gripen, a fourth-generation Swedish multi-role fighter. Its top speed is 2,200 kilometers per hour. This is not an outstanding figure for a fighter jet in the 21st century. That is why the Gripen is only the eighth in our rating. However, the low price and excellent thrust-to-weight ratio make the Gripen one of the most balanced fighters in the world. Therefore, Gripens are popular far beyond the borders of their native Sweden. The Gripen has not participated in real battles yet. But training duels between Thai fighters Yas 39 CD Gripen and Su 27 of the Chinese Air Force in 2015 showed that the Swedish fighter has excellent avionics and the best weapons. 7. Eurofighter Typhoon. Its limit is 2,450 km per hour. Other advantages include a high angular rate of turn and an excellent thrust to weight ratio. At this point, Eurofighter and Gripen are the best among the existing competitors. The thrust-to-weight ratio, in other words, the ratio of engine thrust to the weight of the aircraft, allows the fighter to quickly gain speed and reach its limit. This is very important when the fighter goes into alarm to intercept and destroy the intruder. The primary mission of fighters is defense. Today, the air forces of Great Britain, Germany, Italy, and Spain use Typhoon fighters to patrol the skies over the Baltic region. The Typhoon has already encountered the Russian Su fighter, but only in a training battle. The victory in close combat remained with the Russian fighter. 6. The world's first fifth-generation fighter, the F-22 Raptor. Its maximum is also 2,450 km per hour. However, its exclusivity is not about speed indicators, it's about other abilities. For example, here's a real case from a combat practice. In one sortie, the F-22 Raptor completed a strike mission, conducted reconnaissance of ground targets, directed colleagues from his flight to targets, and continued covering the bombers all the time. Monstrous versatility. It happened in Syria in the summer of 2015. The Raptor was in the air for 11 and a half hours and completed the task for several fighters at once. It seems that it is criticized for its high cost unfairly. The F-22 Raptor is the best aircraft in the world so far, even though it does not have outstanding speed performance. 5. The Su-27 Russian multi-purpose all-weather supersonic heavy fourth-generation fighter is the fifth in our rating. By the way, the Su-35 has the same speed as the Su-27 has. But since the Su-35 is essentially a deep modernization of the Su-27, we do not give it a separate rating. So the Su-27 has been in service for over 35 years. In the NATO classification, it is listed as Russian Flanker B. 
the maximum speed of the Su-27 reaches 2,876 km per hour. These fighters were used in combat for the first time during the war in Abkhazia. Combat use showed the low efficiency of this fighter against ground targets. That means that the Fu-27 is rather weak as a strike fighter. However, the aircraft showed itself well as an interceptor. Although all interceptions were carried out against relatively low-speed reconnaissance aircraft or transport aircraft, interceptions of U-2, Hercules, Gulfstream have been documented. There are no faster targets in the S-27's assets. An important point, the Su-27 is the main aircraft of the Russian Knights aerobatic team. This indicates its exceptional agility. To test the Su-27, the United States has bought two aircraft from Ukraine. The deal was to bypass Russia with an American shell company. Russian aircraft have entered the aggressor squadron, which helps American pilots practice combat tactics against a potential enemy. Maybe the Su-27 does not have bright events in its career, because American pilots have learned how to effectively act against it. 4. The Russian 5th Generation Su-57 Fighter Its maximum speed is 2,990 km per hour. This new fighter entered service with the Russian Aerospace Forces just a few months ago. One aircraft is already in operation, and three more aircraft are about to enter combat units. In any case, this is what the official representatives of the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation say. The Su-57 should replace the Su-27. The new fighter inherited phenomenal maneuverability from its progenitor. The differences between the Su-57 and the Su-27 mainly relate to avionics and stealth. 3. MiG-31 It is a long-range supersonic interceptor fighter. In NATO documents, the plane is listed as the Foxhound. Its top speed is 3,000 km per hour. The fighter has already been discontinued, but it remains in service with the Russian Aerospace Forces due to its exceptional flight characteristics. During the recent exercises in Kamchatka, the MiG-31 crews performed combat missions in the stratosphere. The MiG-31 is considered one of the most dangerous fighters for its opponents. The Foxhound has not yet fought. Several MiG-31s are in the aviation group of the Russian Aerospace Forces in Syria. The MiG-31 is inferior to the Su-27 in terms of maneuverability, rate of climb, and range of interception. Therefore, it has no chance against American fighters. However, this plane still became famous. Let us remind you of the story of the confrontation between the Russian MiG-31 interceptor and the Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird, the operation of which has long been over. An American scout could easily operate anywhere on the planet until the MiG learned how to intercept it. The Blackbird's speed is 3,300 km per hour, with the possibility of further acceleration up to 3,500 km per hour. Only Foxhounds were able to intercept SR-71 rushing along the borders of the USSR. To intercept the scout, several fighters had to be raised in succession so that they could transfer the Blackbird to each other. Thus, the Blackbird always remained at gunpoint. This is probably why the further operation of the Lockheed SR-71 became impractical. It's a pity because the Blackbird is an outstanding aircraft. 2. F-15 Eagle McDonnell Douglas capable of accelerating to 3,065 km per hour. Unlike all previous Russian and European fighters, the F-15 is a mature and proven warrior. Since entering service in 1976, the Eagle has been deployed in the Middle East, the Persian Gulf, and Yugoslavia. The F-15 has more than 100 officially confirmed victories in aerial duels. Eagle is especially effective against MiG. The F-15 expires in 2025, however, it will go forever down in history as the MiG killer. 1. If there was a Formula One for fighters, the MiG-25 would be the fastest one. Its top speed reaches 3,450 km per hour. The aircraft entered service in 1970. In the NATO classification, the MiG-25 is listed as Foxbat. Although this fighter was removed from Russia's armament in 2013, MiGs are still in the Air Force of a dozen countries. At one time, Foxbat was so fast that it avoided air-to-air -air missiles and the American Phantoms. The monstrous speed made it possible to use the MiG as a breakthrough scout and even as a bomber. The Foxbat remains a formidable fighter today, 
capable of escaping, for example, the F-18. However, no matter how fast you are, the missile will be faster sooner or later. Let's conclude. Today we are seeing a situation where stealth technologies give the best results, at least for a manned fighter. This is indirectly confirmed by the new Russian Su-57, for which stealth has become more important than speed. This means that the Russians have revised their previous strategy. However, you and I belong to the generation that is witnessing a real revolution in fighter aviation. Manned fighters are about to give way to UAVs. This means that the speed race will resume. The presence of a pilot in the cockpit forced to make decisions in critical conditions for the human body does not make it possible for the fighter to reach hypersonic speeds. It should be noted that speed is not a physical problem for a person as long as it remains relatively constant and in one direction. However, the fighter must maneuver. This implies a critical overload under which a pilot can simply faint. If the plane is controlled remotely and the development of targets is at the mercy of AI, artificial intelligence, the human factor associated with the physical capabilities of the body will be completely leveled. In such conditions, speed will become a key advantage for the fighter again.